it's one of a Snapchat's branch partner. Um, so I'm working as a SD, one software development engineer, one here at Inspirit Learning. So what Inspirit Learning does is we make AR and VR content uh, specifically for STEM students and content for education at EdTech. Also, we serve uh, Snapchat as our partner while uh, we build a lot of stuff for Snapchat. So I was working at a uh, service-based company at Gita, which is also one of the best and wonderful uh, companies. I got placed through Coding Ninjas itself uh, as a back-end developer there. I used to, I worked there for one year. Uh, most of the things that I learned at Coding Ninjas, um, the full stack program that I was enrolled into uh, through the career camp, that was one of the major, I, I would say, breakthroughs that I had, let's say, in DSA, in my understanding of full stack development altogether. Although I had one year experience prior joining, you know, Coding Ninjas. Uh, so that included and my experience at Gida, where I met fantastic engineers and I had the opportunity to build my skills. Uh, those are one of the key reasons that I got this opportunity and I could crack it. Um, one thing that uh, I would personally say is I think I was very weak in data structures and algorithms. On the CN when I went through the career camp, were some of the one of the major actually a major building blocks for me in learning data structures and algorithm, which was one of the weakest parts for me. One of the few wonderful people that I worked with at Gita at some of the products that we built, uh, where I had where I got core understanding of you know how things work and how industry works. Prior joining engineering too, uh, I was I just wanted to explore the hardware side of things. You know, I I I used to code even before uh, joining engineering, so I was very curious about how hardware and how things on the other side work. So I joined electrical engineering in my while well, at the time of engineering, and uh, you all through the course, you know, I I used to do a lot of programming. I used to do a lot of hardware stuff too. Uh, that is that is how I, you know, got interested in let's say computer science and all of this. What was its name? I think it was Lovis or some company that had come and uh, I sat for the screening, and I couldn't clear the DS part. But I was very confident with programming though because I'd done programming for a long time. But I'd ignored data structures for a long time, right? And I didn't put my eye through it to, you know, learn data structures and algorithm. I thought it was skills would be enough for me to jump into things. But uh, after that interview, I was quite sure that, you know, data structures would screen me off at the first instance itself, and I would have no opportunity to showcase my skills. So I, I think I did a Google search, and I saw you guys. The, the, the your founder is from. Um, Facebook and and I, I had enrolled into a trial course and I really liked it. I think that's how I got to know about you guys. Uh, that's how I enrolled into coding ninjas actually. Curated roadmap that really helps you and uh, you waste you tend to waste a lot of time. Um, so that is why. I came to you guys to cut down that specific learning time and that curated roadmap would help me cut a lot of time down and really be placement ready as soon as possible. Plus, uh, I think uh, learning on, you, let's say, YouTube or free resources, free resources specifically doesn't put you through that motivation that I got at Coding Ninjas because you guys had leaderboards. You guys had, you know, uh, these coding challenges right after theory sessions. Uh, and I think I would I would personally not go and practice much if it was not for this. I really wanted to challenge myself, get on top of the leaderboard, you know, challenge, you know, answer more questions. And that self doubt and uh, thing that, that self doubt which was in me that am I following the correct roadmap? Am I doing the right things? That itself was out of the table, you know, when I saw the whole curriculum in a very curated way. So I think that's what differentiates. Hiring for let's say junior markets are already being affected. 
by that we could see placement rates dropping even at iits and some of the major big colleges and it's very uh, it's 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 very uh, visible in uh, out there uh, but i think it will not affect somebody who's you know always uh, in the gist of learning also you know, not shying away and running away from these tools but actually adopting learning and uh, inviably accepting what's out there and using it as a tool and not seeing it as a competitor but more like using it as a tool to skill yourself up and see how you can be more productive much faster much better and try to uh, you know uh, see that tool how that tool would help you uh, ace forward uh, i think that is how you need to think in another way you need to skill up uh, skill yourself up in a very uh, i would say professional and very uh, you know you know in a very curriculum based way and be very very ready for the future uh, as these tools come by uh, but i think the market will be affected in some way uh, but in terms of somebody who's who has that just to learn a lot who has that uh, you know inner thing to be at the top i would say master the fundamentals is something do not skip the fundamentals most of the most of the things and i have done that mistake personally uh skipping over fundamentals and thinking that some things are not important over uh, because they are much advanced than this but fundamentals is something uh, very important make great projects projects do help you out in interviews uh, and have a very good understanding of what you are building and when you are building stuff like projects for your let's say portfolio or your resume with things like that never use ai just build it on your own and you will really learn a lot uh, once you are in the industry probably you can see how ai can help you be productive that but up until you go through interviews and things like that uh, try to master the skill uh, skill set and uh, regardless of the rejections you know you're going to face a lot of rejections on the way that is bound to happen so regardless of rejections if you're very uh, if you believe in your skill set i don't think there's any interview that you cannot crack you can easily do it